Hi everyone, in today's video we will see how to install python in your phone. So let's begin our session and we will also see how to install matplotlib and numpy in today's video and I will show you how to uh, write a program and how to save the program in your phone and how to see the output. We will be discussing all these details in this video. So first of all you have to go to play store and you have to install install an application called pydroid so you have to type pydroid so here you will get pydroid 3 ideally for python 3 so let's install that application yes now you can click on finish button now we are going to install one repository that is called pydroid repository plugin click on it then install that again yes now it, this is checking for the virus scanning after that you can click on finish button so done so we have installed a uh, one application for your python program so let's click on it let's open it so here you can see this is installing uh, so now we'll see how to install the libraries so for installing the libraries you have to click on the top left side you can see three lines when you click on that three lines you will get a pip message uh, pip icon so when you click on it you can see the library so here you have to type the library so first of all i am going to type numpy then you have to click on install so here you can see this is complete now i am going to install our matplotlib then clicking on install button so here you can see this is also installed done okay now we will see how to uh, type a python program and how to see the output okay so now i am going to type two kind of python program one is normal python program which is for getting the compound interest next one i am going to do a program with matplotlib so first of all we'll see the compound interest program so for that you have to click on file then you have to take the new uh, so when you take the new option you will get a new screen for typing the program so here i am going to type the code okay okay so here you can see a simple program for finding out the compound interest so after typing all the code on the bottom right side you can see a yellow play button so when you click on the yellow play button you will get the output screen so if there is any error you will get an error message so you have to uh, uh, correct the error then you have to again click on the play button so here i am going to type the input values so the amount i am giving and also i am giving the interest and number of years so here you get the output okay so this is how you see the output so after that we'll see how to save it inside your phone so again i'm clicking on the file tools then here you can see the save option so when you click on save option i'm going to save it inside my internal storage so i just open that then i'm going to take my downloads which is more accessible to me so after that i'm going to create a new folder for saving my python program so here you can see new folder option so click on it and you can give the name uh, so let's give python program then click on create button so the folder has been created after that you have to click on select folder here i'm going to type the name of my program that is uh, for finding compound interest okay then you have to give dot pi as an extension so save it okay so you can see this is saved inside my phone so now we'll see the next program which is i'm going to use the matplotlib library so i'm going to type the code so if you want to type the code you need a new page right so i'm again clicking on it and taking the new file so here i'm going to type the code okay 
now you can see the program which uh, i am using the numpy library as well as the matplotlib library okay let's see the output again i have to click on the bottom right side play button so when i click on it you will get output yeah so this is the output the graph kind of output you are getting so this is a histogram so i'm going to save it inside my python program folder so i'm going to click on my file then i'm going to take save then i'm going to take internal storage i'm going to my downloads and uh, where is my downloads yeah so inside my downloads i have python program folder so i'm going to take that one so i'm going to click on select folder here i will change the name uh, histogram okay then save okay so this also saved so here you can see recently i have done pro two programs that is compound interest and histogram so this is how you save the file uh, inside a folder so i have a folder inside my downloads and i have two different programs okay so now we will see uh, my programs which i have been created in my file so what i will do i'll go to my files then uh, if i go to my files i'll get a screen like this then here you can see the internal storage i have uh, saved it inside my internal storage so i'm just opening that then i'll go to uh, i'll go to downloads right yeah so when i click on downloads you can see the folders which i have been created so i'm just taking that then inside that you can see three programs which i have been created histogram program one file then program two like that so when i click on histogram you can see the details okay so you can send it to uh, your pen drive and you can uh, you can run it in your computer you can do all the activities with it so hope this video is very useful to all the people who are using python so now you can do the python program in your phone itself no need of computer or laptop so hope all will uh, share this video to your friends so uh, thank you everyone thank you for watching my video take few seconds to subscribe our channel and click the bell icon button so you will get all notification of our latest updates